The Sandys River Valley Municipality has welcomed the heavy rain that fell over the past weekend and saying that they are hopeful that it will alleviate the plight of drought uh, within the Eastern Cape and hopefully uh, within the Sandys River Municipality as well. Well, as mentioned, uh, this rain fell over the weekend and to a certain extent it did result to some bit of damage. Uh, for an example, uh, Transnet has confirmed that uh, they are train derailed due to the water uh, that washed through it. Uh, we have also been passing through areas where there is completely no fence or where the, the area is unfenced, uh, like game reserves, due to the drought as well. However, they say that they understand uh, things like this are bound to happen. They appreciate the good parts. At the same time, they said for the loss that has happened when it comes to the infrastructure. But right now, I'm going to speak to the municipal manager of uh, the Sundays River Municipality. A very good day, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, well, we just spoke earlier on and you were talking about uh, the impact that this rainfall might have in the alleviation of the drought situation within this municipality. Uh, any hopes? No, for starters, we welcome the rain because obviously it helps our communities in terms of the availability of water. Uh, in this particular area, you would have noticed that uh, at some point in time during this time, we ferry water to the communities and therefore it is important for us to get this water and to alleviate the plight that we have had over the period of time. However, it does come with an element of uh, surprises. As you have mentioned that the train has derailed, there are communities which are totally uh, experiencing inaccessibility to their home areas because of the flooding and other uh, consequences of the rain. So for us, we welcome the rain, but unfortunately it brings us work that we have to contend with after this rains. Uh, we have been touching a lot on uh, the uh, drought situation in areas like the Nelson Mandela Bay uh, municipality. We have spoken about it in Butterworth, but not much in Sunday's River municipality. Now I'd like to find out how severe is the situation in this municipality. And I understand that a part of your economic drive comes from the citrus industry, which relies heavily on water. How have things been in this municipality? To the extent that uh, there is catchment areas in other areas where water will have to go to the catchment areas, uh, we don't have that uh, disadvantage because we get our water from the Orange River scheme. It comes through the canals. It could be weather inclements that are, are a challenge as the water is coming down from a long distance. But in terms of um, drought in this particular area, we have just been challenged in so far as the orchards as well as the grazing in communities where there are livestock that are affected. But not as severe as the Nelson Mandela Metro and any other areas where they rely on catchment uh, dams in order to ensure that there is uh, sustainable water to the communities. Well, thank you so much, M. M. That was the municipal manager of the Sunnys River Municipality, uh, saying that, of course, they do welcome the rain and they are hoping that, you know, things are going to get better from now on, especially when it comes to the drought situation. But he did admit that uh, they do not have it as hard as uh, the areas such as Nelson Mandela Bay Municipality, but he does say that it does affect them uh, to a certain degree and that they're really hoping uh, that this rainfall uh, will indeed alleviate this problem.